بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم آئیشہ عبداللہ سبجیکٹ سپیشلسٹ میتھس ایٹ ڈیوینل پبلک سکول اینڈ کالج ساہیوال سٹوڈنٹس آئی ویل ٹیچ یو میتھس آف کلاس سکس اینڈ دس از یور لیکچر نمبر تھری ایز یو آلریڈی نو دیٹ وی آر اسٹڈینگ چیپٹر نمبر ایٹ دیٹ از انٹروڈکشن ٹو الجبرا سو ہیئر آر دا کانٹینٹس انکلیوڈ انڈیکس اور ایکسپوننشیل فارم سیپریٹ دا ٹرمس آف الجبرائک ایکسپریشن ایکسرسائز نمبر ایٹ پوائنٹ ٹو کوشچن نمبر تھری اینڈ فور بائی دی اینڈ آف دس ٹاپک یو ول بی ایبل ٹو نو ایکسپوننشیل فارم اینڈ آلسو یو ول بی ایبل ٹو سیپریٹ دا ٹرمس آف الجبرائک ایکسپریشنس Before starting the lecture, let's recall the previous knowledge. In previous lectures, you have learned about algebraic expressions, algebraic terms, constant term, base, exponent and coefficient. Algebraic expressions, the expressions in which the numbers or variables or both are connected by operational signs are called algebraic expressions for example here you can see that the variables a and b are connected by operational sign that is plus and also the variables x and y are connected by operational sign that is minus algebraic terms the operational signs plus and minus separate and connect the parts of an algebraic expression these parts are called algebraic terms of the algebraic expression for example here you can see in this expression x plus 2y plus 5 you can see the algebraic terms that are x 2y and 5 constant term in the expression x plus 2y plus 5 the term 5 remains unchanged and only values of x and y vary here 5 is called a constant term as it is a fixed number or it has a fixed value As you can see, 5 is a fixed value, so it is called constant term. And x, y are called variables. As it is a symbol for a value that we don't know yet. It is usually a letter like x or y. Now concentrate on this word, very. that means changed here the value of x and y vary means you may change it you can put different values of x and y in this expression so from the word vary these x and y are called variables coefficient the multiplying factor of a variable is called its coefficient for example in 4x or you may say 4 times x 4 is coefficient of x that is 4 is a multiplying factor of a variable x so 4 is the coefficient here you can see Variable x is called base and power 2 is called exponent. 
we read it as x raised to the power 2 exponent is also called index or power. So the topic is exercise number 8.2 question number 3 and 4. Before starting the question number 3, firstly we will study index or exponential form. We know that 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power 2 and 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power 3. These forms are called index or exponential forms and can be read as power of 4. In algebra, we can write an index or exponential form as you can see question number 3. Write the following in the exponential form. Here dot denote multiplication. So the first part of question number 3 which is given over here that is a multiply by a multiply by a in solution you can observe that the exponent of a is 1. To write this in exponential form, we just add up the exponents of a and we write a only once. So the answer is a raised to the power 3. In the third part of question number 3, which is given over here, in solution, firstly we will arrange the similar terms in this way. Now here the exponent of x is 1 and exponent of y is also 1. So we firstly write x only once and then add up the exponent of x in this way. Similar is the case with y. So after solving this, we will get this. In the fifth part of question number 3, which is given over here, in solution, again, firstly we will arrange the similar terms in this way. You can see p multiply by p multiply by p multiply by q multiply by q multiply by q. Now, here the exponent of p is 1. So we firstly write p only once and then add up the exponents of p in this way. Similar is the case with q and after solving this we will find this expression. The sixth part of question number 3 is quite similar to question number 5. In solution, firstly, we will arrange the similar terms in this way. Now here the exponent of a is 1 and exponent of b is also 1 and exponent of c is also 1. Now we write a only once and add up the exponents of a in this way. Similar is the case with b and c and by solving we will get this expression. Question number 4 is given over here that is separate the terms of the following algebraic expressions. In the first part of question number 4 you can see that 2a plus 3b students as you already know about comma in English you need to put a comma between the different items on a list. But here we will use comma to separate the terms of this expression. 
so we will separate the terms of the algebraic expression 2a plus 3b by inserting comma between them or by inserting comma between the terms of the algebraic expression in question number in the second part of question number 4 that is l minus 2m plus 4n in solution just insert comma between the terms of the algebraic expression in this way and you have to care about the signs too in the third part of question number four here is 9a raised to the power 2 minus 12b raised to the power 2 in solution just insert comma between these two terms of algebraic expression that is n a raised to the power 2 and minus 12 b raised to the power 2 in the fourth part of question number four it is very easy to separate the terms of the algebraic expression just put the comma between the terms Similar is the case with question number 6 that is 2LM minus 3MN minus 4NL. So in solution just insert comma between the terms of the algebraic expression. Here are the terms 2LM and minus 3MN and minus 4NL. Similar is the case with the seventh part of question number four. In question number eight, two over five x y plus one over three y z plus three over five x z. In solution, just insert comma between the terms of this algebraic expression in this way. So this is the answer. We have separated all the terms of algebraic expression by inserting comma between the terms of algebraic expressions students here is an assignment for you question number three second and fourth part question number four fifth and ninth part Thank you so much for watching the video.